in NVIDIA's business does not seem to be on the immediate horizon. Larry Ellison owns 42% of Oracle, a technology giant valued at $465 billion. Oracle is developing some of the most powerful data centers for artificial intelligence, or AI NVIDIA supplies Oracle and many other tech companies with data center chips known as graphics processing units, or GPUs. Over the past year, NVIDIA has experienced a remarkable surge in revenue, and the demand for GPUs continues to exceed supply. However, some investors are beginning to question how much longer Oracle and its peers can invest billions of dollars in NVIDIA to support their AI goals. Concerns that the AI momentum may be starting to wane are a major reason NVIDIA's stock is down 14.5% from its all-time high. Nevertheless, the market may have overlooked comments made by Ellison at Oracle's financial analyst meeting this month, which suggest more positive news for NVIDIA's investors. Before we begin, this video is not an investment advice and must do your own diligence. However, with my experience investing for years, the content from this video has a solid research foundation. Check our patron on the description below for an inside members-only access on what are the best buys now. We will also update you on what to sell for gains or to avoid losses. Subscribe to our channel so you will never miss out. Oracle is nowhere close to meeting its AI infrastructure goals. Oracle's data centers are distinct because they are fully automated. Each data center operates in the same way, regardless of its size, which allows Oracle to construct them rapidly without the need for human workers. Additionally, Oracle's RDMA, or Random Direct Memory Access, GPU networking technology enables faster data transmission compared to traditional Ethernet networks. Since most AI developers pay for computing power by the minute, Oracle's data centers offer significant cost savings over competing infrastructure. This efficiency has led to a surge in demand from prominent AI startups like OpenAI, Cohere, and XAI. As of the first quarter of fiscal 2025, which ended on August 31st, Oracle had 85 data centers in operation and an additional 77 under construction. However, Ellison believes that the company could ultimately operate as many as 2,000 data centers in the long run. Next year, Oracle plans to launch a cluster featuring 131,072 graphics processing units, marking a significant upgrade from its current largest clusters, which contain around 32,000 GPUs. There is also a notable difference in technology. The new cluster will utilize NVIDIA's latest Blackwell chips, capable of performing artificial intelligence inference at 30 times the speed of its flagship H100, which Oracle is currently using. This advancement will theoretically enable developers to create the largest AI models ever. This development will greatly benefit NVIDIA. The company generated $26.3 billion in data center revenue during its fiscal 2025 second quarter, which ended on July 28. This revenue primarily came from GPU sales representing a 154% increase compared to the same period last year. Although this growth rate has slowed in comparison to earlier quarters due to the high revenue base, NVIDIA's customers are showing no signs of decreasing their purchases. In fact, Oracle invested $6.9 billion in data center infrastructure in fiscal 2024 and plans to double that investment in fiscal 2025 but it doesn't stop there. Ellison's latest comments are great news for NVIDIA. During the analyst meeting, Ellison told the audience about a dinner he arranged with Tesla CEO and XAI founder Elon Musk and NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang at Nobu in Palo Alto. He recalled himself and Musk begging Huang for more GPUs. Please take our money, take more of it. You're not taking enough. We need you to take more of our money, please. Ellison's and Musk's comments to Jensen Huang over dinner, according to Ellison. Oracle Cloud Infrastructure, OCI, generated $2.2 billion in revenue during Q1, primarily from renting data center capacity to customers, which was a 46% increase from the year-ago period. However, Oracle ended the quarter with a record $99 billion in remaining performance obligations, RPOs, a whopping 53% jump. 
the company said it signed 42 new deals for GPU capacity worth $3 billion during Q1, which contributed to the backlog. Oracle can't serve all of those AI developers or convert its RPO into revenue until it brings more data centers online, hence Ellison begging Huang for more GPUs. Tesla is in a similar position. It's battling for supremacy in the autonomous self-driving software industry, and it's trying to bring a cluster of 50,000 GPUs online by the end of this year to further train its AI models. Tesla will spend $10 billion on that infrastructure, but it's going to need more capacity over time. Now might be a great time to buy Nvidia stock. Oracle and Tesla aren't the only companies spending big on data centers. Microsoft spent $55.7 billion on capital expenditures, CapEx, mostly relating to AI infrastructure during its fiscal 2024 year, ended June 30th, and it plans to spend even more in fiscal 2025. Similarly, Amazon's CapEx spending is on track to top $60 billion this calendar year. Based on NVIDIA's trailing 12-month earnings per share of $2.20, its stock trades at a price-to-earnings P.E. ratio of 52.7. That's expensive compared to the 30.9 P.E. ratio of the NASDAQ 100 Technology Index, which hosts many of NVIDIA's big tech peers. However, NVIDIA's fiscal 2026 will begin at the end of January 2025 and Wall Street expects the company to deliver $4.02 in earnings per share for the year. That places its stock at a forward P.E. ratio of just 28.8. In other words, investors who are willing to hold NVIDIA stock for at least the next year and a half could be scooping up a bargain at its current price. Assuming Wall Street's forecast proves accurate, a slowdown in NVIDIA's business will eventually come because the sheer magnitude of current AI spending will be very difficult to maintain over the long term. Plus, competition is slowly coming online in the GPU space, which could erode some of the company's market share in the next few years. However, based on the facts at hand today, NVIDIA stock is likely a good buy at the current price. The earmarked AI spending from some of its largest customers suggests a slowdown isn't on the immediate horizon. Give us a like if you like our video, Subscribe and ring the bell to never miss out. Check our patron for an inside look on what are the best buy and sell stocks every week.